Hi, Steve from Custom Table Tennis, and this little review, um, well, it's not a review, it, we just, somebody asked what's the difference between, the cook that basically woke up in the middle of the night and they couldn't make, make their mind up whether to buy the pure Hinoki or the premium Hinoki. The thing to note about the pure, let's start with the pure Hinoki. Pure Hinoki means it's pure Hinoki. Five layers of Hinoki, there's nothing else in there you see when you look down the handle you've got five layers of hinoki in there so the emphasis is, is going to be on touch and feel ball placement um, with good spin um, and then if we bring in the premium hinoki you can clearly see the difference so we'll go through the weights in a moment the handles are, are the same the handles are both the same, the logo is the same. I should have shown you that you've got, clearly can distinguish between the two. So pure Hinoki, premium Hinoki, which is the one that we run out of. Um, we've got lots of county players. We've got a, a lady who's, um, she's number one in the, over, in the over 50s, seems to be winning everything with this particular blade. So we've run out of these, but we've got them back in stock. I've been holding off doing the video uh, until we've actually physically got them back in. So weight-wise, um, the Hinoki, pure Hinoki, it's going to be 88 plus or minus 3. But to be honest, I'm not finding them much under 86, 87 grams. Um, we haven't been through them all obviously but um, 88 plus or minus 3 88.9 so that's to the lower end and the reason being is because it's pure hinoki you've got all wood in there as opposed to if you're wanting to keep the weight down a little bit um, I should mention that the play for this one it's going to play a little bit more direct it's a little bit stiffer a little bit harder because of your carbon layers in there. It's a Kiri core wood, so it does keep the weight down. Classic five plus, uh, three plus two carbon, and the weights on these 83.5. So we've, 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 we're around about 80 plus or minus three on these. We've got some under and some slightly over. It's impossible to get them unless you're, uh, uh, wood nut and they can uh, weigh the materials but that's a different thing altogether so really really popular um, standard head size 150 by 157 what we'll do and uh, I haven't done it for a while I'll, so you can compare it with your own bat the pure Hinoki is bang on six let's do that again it changed bang on six thick the premium Hinoki carbon, as you can see, it's half a miller. Even though it's lighter, it's half 0.5 of a millimeter thicker. So we're going to present these with all the usual things. In actual fact, we've tried, we've just simplified it. If you're wanting one of these or the other, we're going to do new videos uh, to a, to accompany the actual bats in the new year um, when we've got our full complete range with with the rubber but what we're going to present these with first of all and get them both on the gambler 7 so these are 59 at the moment the 59.99 each we don't know what's going to happen in 2024 but you try and find hinoki blades at this type of price a, a quality item you're not going to be able to find them so we've got the gambler 7s rubber so 59.99 for the blades and then you can put what rubber you want on but uh, with the actual rubbers attached we're doing these at 69.99 with this particular gambler rubber which here is a bat well, let's bring the bat in now so obviously you've got a protective thing on there that, that'll just that, just get that started pull that off really delighted with this rubber we're going to run with it we, we, we're probably woman and hour in whether to use friendship 729 anymore the coaches I find it a little bit too sticky where this just seems to be the sweet spot but the weight 169 take the protectors off there you're going to drop that down to 166 on the premium Hinoki you can add another 
eight or ten grams on the uh, pure hinoki the other one that we're going to offer and we're absolutely delighted about this one um, it's just been <laughs> tested by one of the top players uh, well he's, I think he, he was number one in the over 60s I don't know whether he still is he thinks it's a great rubber why if you're an intermediate to advanced would you spend 300 pounds on a bat um, when you're not quite up to the market for these top professional rubbers this is a brilliant rubber the gambler vault m it's on an el toro sponge and um, we've gone for the hard one on this one it's not a particularly heavy rubber some of the uh, tensor rubbers they're um, you're getting up towards uh, 70 to 70 even 80 grams on some of them so this one if you can pick that out that's perfect so it's not going to be much heavier whether you choose the vault m or the gambler sevens but we um as i was saying you can just go onto customtabletennis.co.uk on the left hand side click on bats and you got a drop down menu you can see that this is available in all the, the popular rubbers so somebody was asking the question what's the difference between the two i think i've covered it there uh, you've got pure hinoki five layers of all hinoki and then on the premium we've got a kiri core wood and then we've got the inoki outer and then we've got the carbon in there as well so it's all about the feel this one isn't is this one isn't going to be too fast i think if i remember rightly this is something like 88 speed and 88 control which is the kind of the sweet spot for most people but we do sell more of the premium hinoki carbon so Steve from Custom Table Tennis, hit the like and subscribe and get your stuff from customtabletennis.co.uk. We're making an effort here. We're getting um, videos on for you to try and make selection a lot easier for you. Until the next video, bye for now.